Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have the board game War on Terror. I saw a bunch of people playing this at a convention one time. I was laughing so hard I had to buy it. So I got it used and here we are doing an unboxing for it. So here it is, the War on Terror. Just love the fact that it included an evil box, uh, uh, which says evil on it. And uh, I love the cartoony uh, artwork on it. Two to six players, ages 14 plus. It's a very, very heavy box. So let's see what it says back. Secure the oil, build your empire, fund and fight terrorism. How often have you wished you could join in the fight for truth, justice, and a decent slice of oil-rich land? Well, now you can. Fight terrorism when it threatens your empire. Fund terrorism when you don't want to get your hands dirty. Fight the terrorist you've just funded. You can even be the terrorist. All you need is two to six players and an unfaltering desire to liberate the planet. But beware, you're about to enter a world of political kidnapping, suicide bombers, filthy propaganda, and intercontinental war. Money is your one true ally, and the only way to survive is to be as devious as your opponents. And if you can't survive, don't despair. You'll never out of the game. If your empire falls, simply carry on the fight as a terroristic player. Just watch out for our eight, that fickle axis of evil. One wrong spin, and you're officially persona non grata. Global literation has never been so much fun. We're on Terror the Board Game. So, contents. World map board. Evil Black Lava. Axis of Evil Spinner. 47 terrorist cards. A whole bunch of stuff. Small parts not suitable for children under three years old. Playing time is 120 minutes. By Terrible Games. This game came out in 2006. Here's their web address if you want some more information on this. That's what you get in the box. So, let's crack this bad boy open. And see what we find on the inside. First thing you get is the giant map. So I'm going to pull this stuff to the side. Let's get this map open. West Canada, East Canada, Western States, Midwest States, Eastern States, Mexico, Cuba, Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, Brazil, Argentina. It's a trifold map, so it's pretty darn big. There's your War on Terror. There's your Axis of Evil Spinner that they were talking about. West Nowhere, the Falklands, Nowhere. Middle of nowhere, east nowhere. Each, each city equals one point, liberation points. Okay. It's your map of the world. Up top right is where you put your empire cards and your terrorist cards up there. So there is your, not a lot of room here on the table. This thing is huge. All right, and there is your map. So what else comes in the game? Of course, it's evil. You got the mask. Put that right over there. Comes with money. All kinds of money. Different denominations. 5 million, 10 million, 20 million, 50 million, 100 million, wait, is that our order? 100 million, and of course, 500 million. For the profit of few at the cost of many. Same quality as like a uh, Monopoly money made that paper. Okay. And there's your money. These look like chips. Don't need to look at all of them. Various numbers on them. Obviously, there are drops of oil. 11. No, no, just oil drop. 
to six. So we have to six. Yeah. Six or nine. I got a whole bunch of those ranging numbers. One song has the oil drop, the other has a number. Got a whole bag full of those. Nuclear tokens. I don't think you can see one. Made out of cardboard, obviously. White on one side. Very colorful. Okay. Get a bag full of those. Get these pieces of these cones and these circles. And get it in orange. Get it in green. Get it in blue. Black. And yellow. Red, and pink. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors to choose from. I'm assuming that each color represents something, but not sure. It seems like you have a lot more black ones than you have anything else. Mm -hmm. I'll show you what's inside with, with the pink ones. We got the cone. Oops. They're slippery. Hard plastic. Got your cone. And you're your cylinder. Open at one end. Closed on the other. There they are there. You get a whole bunch of them. Again, all your colors are up there. Deck of cards, your Empire cards. Okay, all the, back, all the fronts are the same. Or back of the cards, depending on how you want to look at it. So let's see what these cards say. GDP collection. Collect gross domestic product for every development in your empire. 10 million, 20 million, 50 million. War. Attack developments are terrorist units in bordering countries or terrorist units within your empire. Can be used in defense against the other war cards. Strike, partial strike, collateral damage. Terrorist attack. Radiation cleanup. Terrorist movement. Terrorist attack. Terrorist movement. Terrorist attack. War, 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 terrorist attack. Coyote Protocol, force another empire to sign the protocol. protocol. They pay the World Bank for each town and city within their empire, 50 million, 70 million. Terrorist movement. Terrorist upsurge, roll two dice, place a terrorist column in any country bearing a matching oil number. If terrorists already present are already present, upgrade one level. Terrorist movement, radiation cleanup, attack, attack, attack. Movement. Oh, this is a little different. Oil gush, treble. Bonus roll of the oil dice, treble oil revenue paid out to all players. This is in addition to your normal oil roll. Explorers. Cross the sea route and develop a village at the other end for free. This is in addition to your normal developments. Nuclear disarmament, GDP collection, weapons inspector, war, nuclear weapons. You must have a city to launch a nuke. 
nukes destroy everything at ground zero and in land bordering countries a radioactive counter is placed at ground zero can be defended with a nuclear bunker redevelopment for redevelopment explorers one nuclear weapon four who's evil time to create a new enemy bonus spin of the axis of evil four Development. Terrorist attack, terrorist attack. Regime change. Convert another empire's development anywhere on the board to your own. The cost of regime change depends on the size of development. 50, 100, 200 million. This one here. Nuclear bunker. Okay. Defend your developments against nuclear weapons and dirty bombs. Sometimes the best defense is to dig a hole and hide. Espionage. No one ever said this was an honest game. Deal a card blind from any player. War. War. Terrorist attack. War. War. Oh gosh. Terrorist buy off. Remove up to 10 terrorist units from the board at the following costs. Intelligence leak. It's never a good idea to use email for sensitive communication. Choose a player and force them to hand over all secret messages they have. Surgency emergency. If you fight fire with fire, you'll end up with two fires. All terrorist units on the board increase one level. This card is removed from the game once played. Card inspector. It pays to have friends in the right places. Look through the Empire deck and pick a card of your choice. And shuffle the deck afterwards. And terrorist attack. Right. So you get another Empire card. Deck of cards. Red deck. So you get a black deck and a red deck. What does red deck have in it? Okay, all the same. Oh, looks like they're the same except they're in red deck. Looks like they're all the same. Yep. This one's different. Oil theft. Multinationals and governments aren't the only people who steal oil. Steal everyone's oil revenue from the oil roll at the end of your turn. Terrorist recruitment. Bomb the pipeline. Terrorist attack. Political kidnap. Political kidnap. Civil war. Terrorist attack. City strike. Weapons of mass destruction. You found them. Attack any development or terrorist unit, there is no defense against. You need to brush up on those urban guerrilla skills, maybe the CIA will help you. Terrorist training. Move up the four terrorist units from anywhere on the board and return them to your terrorist training camp. WMDs, terrorist attack, terrorist movement, suicide bomber. your birthday. Even terrorists have birthdays. Collect five million from every player. Hmm. Plane hijack. Brian Jenkins once claimed terrorism as theater. So what do you do for an encore? Requires a terrorist cell of a cone within Empire. The ransom is 250 million. If the vending Empire refuses to pay, you must send in the troops. Hijack foiled. Terrorists destroyed, hostage killed, Empire pays 400 million, Terrorist World Bank. And that is your red deck.
notepads that you can use for sec secret messages, for treaties, resolutions, and other breakable promises. When those in power lie, the most subversive thing you can do is tell the truth. A pencil, got some dice, and that's your spinner right there. A pencil in there. We've got some more cards. Let's see what these cards are. Uh, your cost, your reference cards. Duration points required to win. Turn, roll action die, take two cards, play, roll oil dice, action die, bonus card, shuffle deck, spin axis of evil. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six reference cards. Tells you what the costs are for developments and everything else. There it is. A pencil for your secret messages. Hand for the spinner, piece to hold in place, and 2d6 dice, this will be your special dice, and You've got rules of engagement. War and terror of the war again. What's in the box? Contents. Quick start guard. Humble beginnings. Take it in turns. It's all about oil. Keeping the peace. Terrorism problem solution. Winning the war and terror. The basics, the board, plane counters, oil counters, dice, cards, radiation counters, secret message pad. Starting the game, preparation. Set up round, an empire player's turn, roll the action die, select two free empire cards. Play, roll the oil dice, the axis of eel. You have empire's turn, outside your turn. Developments, cards, fighting. Terrorists. Turning into a terrorist. Bankruptcy. A terrorist player's turn. Roll the action die. Collect two free terrorist cards. Play. Roll the oil dice. Winning the game. Empire victory. Terrorist victory. World peace. And a game diagram. Fun illustrations. And again, terriblegames.co.uk. Okay, so that's your rules engagement book. Put that at the top there. And card appendix. Your cards. Empire Cards, Card Inspector, Espionage, Explorers, Free Development, GDP Collection, Insurance Emergency, Intelligence Leak, Coyote Protocol, Nuclear Bunker, Nuclear Disarmament, Nuclear Weapons, Oil Gush, Radiation Cleanup, Regime Change, Terrorist Attack, Terrorist Buy-Off, Terrorist Movement, Upsurge, War, Attacking Developments, Attacking Terrorist Units, Attacking Evil Empires, Weapons Inspector, Who's Evil, Card Templates. They call it Long War, so we've made it easy for you to invent cards and keep up with the latest rhetoric. If you come up with any good ones, please submit them to the website. So make your own cards. Okay. Terrorist Cards, Bomb, Pipeline, City Strike. Civil War, Dirty Bomb, It's Your Birthday, Oil Theft. It's all the different cards that we went through already. I guess it explains all the cards. Terrorist Upsurge is exactly the same as Terrorist Upsurge card in the Empire deck, page 4. Video Appeal, select another player and steal it. All Terrorist units in their Terrorist training camp.
Strategy tips. And you play the game, you've won the baklava. Now find the website, baklava. Not baklava, baklava, baklava. There you go. Go again. So you get the card appendix, rules engagement, and all that stuff. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is War on Terror, the board game. Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. Be safe, be well. I'll catch you on the next one. If you can, throw us a like and subscribe to the channel. Again, thank you for joining us. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a great night.